Look at you, boy. You're looking nice. You're looking fly. You're looking nice and fly. He got the pole. Look at him eating him a. He's eating himself a uh, cereal bar with the uh, the blue polo shirt on, like I love. Look at them, the the shorts, the go with it, and check his footwork. Woo! <laughs> mm, well, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday we found out that he wears a twelve, and now he can. Um, so all the little shoes that I got, look at him going back and forth. Get! So all the little shoes that I got him, they're not um, they're not valid anymore. So we ended up having to just buy all new shoes and all of that stuff. And since I was not at the outlet where I um, I wasn't at the outlet, like the little foot action outlet or whatever, I couldn't get him all the the, the, the shoes that I like to get him. So because they didn't have any, didn't have no Jordans, so I had to get him um. What are those? Feli? These are the Feli sketches, man. I don't care. I mean, he's a kid. It really doesn't matter what shoes he has. But, uh, LJ, are you ready to go to school? Hey, 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 hey. Stop running away. Get back over here. The, the grass is nicely trimmed and everything. Yes! You ready to go to school, LJ? All right, folks. LJ, tell everybody what the day is. Say, say school. Exactly. Today... It's my son's first day of school, and um, I don't I don't take it lightly, man, because today is his first. It's not really his first day of school. I mean, the really real real first day of school is like two years away because he starts uh, first grade, and um, I don't think what like six, I think. But uh, today is his first first day of pre K, and I can't lie to you, man. I'm kind of nervous um, because it's gonna be him in a different environment. Everybody knows that uh, he's only four. Um, he'll be. Next year he'll be doing kindergarten and then, then it'll be first grade. The thing is my son is smart as a whip, like sharp as a whip, right? But the thing is he has SPD, which means a few things. Really just means that he has trouble sitting down. Doesn't have trouble concentrating or learning anything, but he does have trouble with sitting down. And I'm not gonna put him on any medicine or anything like that because that's just like, that's just not the, it, you know that's not that's not the um, solution anymore. You know it used to be back when we were little. I grew up in the '80s, so when I was little, somebody had SPD, somebody had um, ADHD, anything, anything like that. Put them on medicine immediately. Ritalin. I think Ritalin was the medicine back then. If, if y'all grew up back in the '80s, y'all let me know. Put them on Ritalin. My mom didn't let them put me on Ritalin, and she was like, "Nah, you just you're gonna go to school. You're gonna sit your ass down." And, and that's what I did. And, I, and, you know, you see some other cat, cats that were on Ritalin. Like, now we know the effects of Ritalin and why they don't really use it, why they don't use it anymore, because it has some uh, crazy side effects. But um, now I think if you have ADHD and all of that, I don't think that then y'all, like I said, if you have kids that have ADHD or anything like that, I think they just don't even put them on medicine anymore. I think they do a lot of, well, I ain't going to say holistic, but they do a lot more, um, it's a lot more about, the technique now, I suppose, than just medication. Well, they don't medicate the issue. They don't just throw medicine at, at, at issues anymore, like they did in the 80s and early 90s. But anyway, first day of school, the thing that I hate the most about the first day of school is traffic. Like, there was no traffic all summer when I used to take them to school and all that good stuff, and now, I mean, it's traffic. I see buses. I see everything everywhere. So, it's going to be quite an adventure, but it's all good. The biggest thing that I'm worried about with him is uh, having SPD You uh, most times you need to have a fidget uh, and like I said if you know about it you know a fidget toy uh, just something to occupy he needs something to occupy his hands and things like that all the time hopefully the hope is that when he gets into the class you know the um, the work and all of that will occupy him and his teachers know about his condition so he should be fine and, uh, you know, like later on this year, we'll be going to some more doctors and we're going to find out some more things about, you know, the severity and, you know, what he'll have to do. But, uh, but I mean, the thing is, he can learn anything. He knows everything. I mean, all all letters in the alphabet, everything. LJ, what color is this? White. Exactly. You see? So, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. LJ, what color? Yellow. See? He just... He he, LJ. What color? Blue. See, y'all 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 understand what I'm trying to tell y'all. You know, 
Yeah. LJ, what color? Red. See? All that stuff right there, like he knows every number, letter, uh, thing in the alphabet, uh, all all types of shapes, everything. You know, he knows he, he knows all this stuff. I've not, I've had no difficulty teaching him anything. The biggest thing is him sitting down, and uh, you see he's got his two iguanas. He needs his fidget toy. So, um, hey, it is what it is, man. I can't I can't get too mad at it though because you know it could be worse. But um, we're not we're not worried about that. The only thing that we're worried about is moving forward and getting him the you know so he can have the best quality of life that he can have. I don't think it's gonna affect him outside of his childhood. To be truthful with you, I've seen I've done a lot of reading. I've, I've seen some people have gone their entire lives and and people just thought they were weird, but they really had SPD and and you know they just thought they were weird or they were outside because there was no name for it back then. They just be like you just bad as hell. But um you know. It is what it is, man. So uh, we're gonna see how everything goes. I just don't know uh, if they're gonna let him have his uh, fidget toy or anything like that. And if they don't, then uh, it's all good. Watch this. LJ, what number? Four. See? That's Watch this. LJ, what's that? Blue bell. Look at that. It's, it's amazing the things that he has in his cranium. Can't do no more because we're not at the stop anymore. But uh, like I said though, man, it's just amazing the things that he has and the knowledge that he has, man. And at, at such a young age, it's just like, yo, do y'all want me to do these like little vlogs every day, me and LJ going to school or whatever? Like, well, I just talk to y'all and just shoot the breeze. I don't know, man, y'all let me know. But, um, you know, we gonna see how this day goes. We gonna go, we gonna pull up, we gonna drop him off and uh, we gonna see how it goes, man. Holler back at y'all in a second. All right, folks, so Bridget called and chimed in while I was doing the video. And uh, go ahead and tell everybody what's up, Bridget. Hey, people! And why are you calling this morning? Because I forgot to tell LJ something. Go ahead and tell him. LJ, it's mommy. Don't forget, be nice, and... And play nice. And sharing is... Sharon is what? He said good. Good. Okay. I love you, LJ. Here goes the mommy kisses. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> now he, he's saying well, I'm back to you, Bridget. He kissing back at you. Is he, is he kissing back to me? Uh-huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Yep. Well, we're here now, so we're going to have to uh, suspend all, all the rest of his uh, mommy time this morning. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I love you. Have a great day. All right. We're going in. We'll see you later. Okay. All right. all right. Well, all right. So that was a little bit rougher than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think that he was going to, um, as my mother would say, show out so bad. But I guess anybody knows when your child goes to a new grade or um, new daycare or new anything, it's, sometimes it's a little bit rough. Some people's children... Like, I was one of those kids where it didn't bother me. I didn't cry my first day of anything. I think I was pretty much sentient at, at uh, four years old, so I understood what time it was. It's like, you're going to Head Start, uh, you're going to be in a new class and stuff like that. So I was cool. But then again, I was five when I went to Head Start because my uh, my uh, they, I have a late birthday. So, you know, it is what it is, man. But uh, that was a little bit tougher than I thought it was going to be. I guess that's why they have it, so you just drop them at the door. Um, and they take them down the hall and take them where, they, where they're supposed to go rather than uh, like today, the first day, you take them in. I will not be doing that again. Next time, he just be getting dropped off. Just all to it. Not going through that again, man. Because, you know, hey, they start crying, it almost make you cry. I ain't going to cry. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. But anyway, I got to get to work and get on with my day. And I know they called me, man, just said he ain't got to go to work. <laughs> he ain't got no job. Yeah, but, you know, it is what it is, man. But I'm going to catch y'all later on, and uh, we'll see how the day went when we get back. All right, so first day of school in the books. Let's see how he acts when he sees me. Come on, baby. Let's go. My child, ladies and gentlemen, he was nice and clean and fly before he came to school. And now... I mean, he literally looks like he has lost a fight with a 
dirt monster. I don't understand it. I don't know why he likes to play in the dirt so much. I told my mother that these clothes right here were not the best thing for him to wear to school, but hey, she wanted to buy them, so it is what it is. But anyway, what you eating now, Jay? What you eating? What you eating? Anyway, we're gonna go on to the top. All right, folks, so now that he has gotten the trophy for dirtiest child alive, after coming from school, we got Bridget on the phone. Bridget, tell the people what's up once again. What up, what up, what up? It's your girl, Bridget, e, the AKA. Let's Yeah, she cut out right at the right time. Anyway, um. Oh, about to drop these 16 bars. No, that's for, why you cut uh, out right at the right uh, time. Huh? That's, huh? Why you, that's why you cut out right at the right time. But anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm ready to roll whenever oh you call. Oh my God, they heard those before. Them, you can be like it's the same one. I'm turning right. you down, like seriously. I'm turning wait you down. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't ever let me finish now. But they heard you last time on the last video. Yeah, but it was not on my bars, though. Yeah, yeah, it was. It, it wasn't. Hey, LJ. And there he is in the back seat, like he the perfect prince. He is the people's <laughs> prince, but. He had the people's prince sitting back there eating the Twix. With the, I mean, Bridget, I mean, it looked like he done lost a fight with a dirt monster, for real. You should take a picture, send it to your mama, and be like, this is why he's going to spend $200 on his clothes. All he's going to do is get it dirty. Well, he can look nice and fly for his first day. But tomorrow, yeah. he going to go on his uh, Walmart specials, $3.99. Yeah, yeah nothing, exactly. Nothing to let him just go and just mess these clothes up like that, man. I see why I'm a, I see why our parents used to do that. They had you had the good clothes, and you had to play clothes. Now eventually, all clothes turned into play clothes. But I mean, my goodness, I ain't realize, you know. Is he in red dirt? Yeah, red dirt everywhere. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Like that shirt was blue. Now it's uh, blue and brown. Yep, I had to throw that in the washer real fast. Yeah. Hopefully this uh, using one of my strongest detergents to see that come on now. It will. I mean, it ain't nothing bad. It's more dusty than anything. He's not like, it's not like beating in red, red dirt. It's just like dusty red dirt. So as soon as we get to the house, we'll change him and all that good stuff. But anyway, from what she said, he had a great day at school today. And the only big issue that he had was... Uh, they were trying to get him to wash his hands, so she said she had to go talk to Miss Christina on how to get him to wash his hands. Which 90% of the time he'll wash his hands on his own, but other than that, uh, that's really it. Huh. I wonder why, uh, I wonder if he didn't want to wash his hands because he was playing the word the other day and he had turned the um, hot water on. Yeah. Maybe that could be the reason. Uh, that's possible. Uh, mommy, he loves washing his hands. Exactly, but I mean, you just don't ever know. Children. Children are like that, dog. Like they do one thing one day, if something is perfectly fine, then the next day you can't pay them to do something. So, yeah, you yeah. just don't ever know. But anyway, that's been LJ's first day of school. Y'all stay tuned because I got something special for y'all right after this. So let me tell y'all what your little homeboy LJ did on the way home. I had to stop and get some tweezers because um, I got something like you know I got my teeth pulled the other day and I need to pull something out of my teeth so bad. Like I swear when you get your teeth pulled, man. It's the most aggravating thing for about three to five days. I mean, it is just awful. But anyway, got my teeth pulled. I need to pull something out with these damn tweezers or whatever. And so I went to uh, went to Dollar General. I said, hey, big boy, grab some if you want to. Why does little boy go in there and get the biggest thing of all? Um, excuse me. The biggest thing of Gatorade he can find. The biggest blue Gatorade he can find. Not only that, but he picked up, he also said he wanted Mountain Dew Cold Red. And then I was like, well, grab me a blue one. So he grabbed the blue one and the red one. And when I said, yo, yo, can I get my blue one? He's like, nah, I want the blue one too. I'm like, yo, well, what am I supposed to drink? Like, I swear, dog, I don't get no respect, man. That's how kids is, man. But hey, kids are. But it is what it is, man. Hey, like I said, Little surprise for y'all coming up in a second. All 
Hey folks, so this is the surprise I had for you guys, man. I was sponsored by Cheap Jerseys and the link is down in the description. But uh, this is one of the three jerseys that they sent me and uh, I figured I might as well do a giveaway, man. So you gotta let me know which, which jersey y'all want. This is the Kevin Durant, the trader extraordinaire. But uh, I mean, the quality is great, man. All, all the all the uh, numbers and letters and everything is actually stitched on. There's no ironed on stuff like that. So if that's what y'all wondering. With the Kevin Durant one with the city, this is actually a patch, and then so they sold the patch on. But this this part is 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 just like how they how it was. You know how the actual city jersey is. So that's that one. Show you guys number two, which is another player that moved. And you guys you gotta let me know which one which one you want, which one you like, or just just comment down in the description, man. You know we gonna do this thing. Uh, Derrick Rose, man. Derrick Rose, New York. He got the white Derrick Rose in New York. Right, Rose, Rose number 25. And uh, last but not least, we got, speaking of New York, somebody that could probably be the king of New York right now. The man, the myth, the legend, number 13, Odell Beckham Jr. And it's got, like I said, it's got the, the giant logo here. Um, all the numbers are sewn on. The stitching is really good, and you already see who it is, man. Odell Beckham Jr., man. So, like, if you want a chance to win one of these jerseys, just uh, comment down below, and uh, we will. I'll let you guys know who won. Whoever wins, I'm just gonna message you, and um, and I'll just get you to send me information or whatever like that. I don't wanna put it out there who won, cause I don't want nobody hating on nobody in the comments. But when you get it, let me know. Uh, send me a little picture of something which you want to let everybody know what you want. But I'm out of here. Until next time. It's your boy Odell Beckham Jr. Hey, uh, huh? Oh, your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barber Shop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this morning.